real holy grail was, was there a way to, by digitizing the sound, use a computer to recognize what surely sounded like a pattern, the hiss in the background of a recording, and then use a computer to recognize that pattern and subtract it from the sound image. The um, driving force for what has become digital recording wasn't necessarily the cleaner recording in the first place. It was really the removal of the noise artifacts and the, and the stuff that drove Dad crazy. <laughs> By the late 50s, it didn't take 19 hours anymore to get a single second of digital sound. It took uh, much closer to a minute, which wasn't enough progress, but it was a hell of a lot of progress over that period of time. And uh, as that was happening, Dad began to say, at some point, everything would be digital. Images would be digital, audio would be digital, and that's when people really thought he was a crackpot. Um, that was not a conceivable possibility at that time. He would do demonstrations of the playback, of, in fact, the recording and the playback on the digital uh, tape here at AES. The first reactions were, it wasn't possible, something was happening, it was, uh, it was fraudulent. Um, the next reactions to the following years were things like the digitized sound was messing with people's brains. It was not healthy for your psyche to listen to the digital audio. In any event, what became clear was that the next frontier was not just um, identifying the noise pattern in an old Caruso recording and subtracting that out, which was one of the first projects that Soundstream worked on, but the, the opportunity was in the original recording and editing space. Um, and then, of course, the next frontier after that was, um, was there a format that could work for the consumer in the home for playback? Soundstream began really racing after that. At roughly the same time, Sony and Philips teamed up and started racing after that. And, you know, history tells us that the Sony Philips team won with the, the compact disc he was fascinated with all things um, uh, audio and video from a, just a very, very young age. And it was the noise that bothered him. So I imagine, though I don't know, but I imagine as he entered MIT and he began to um, see what was really just an emerging field, which was the whole concept of computer science and the whole concept of signal processing mm -hmm. that applying those possible methods to the problem, which was noise. And how could you possibly quantify the signal? Um, those became the challenges. <laughs>